guys, today we're taking another look at another Nico drawing nib. And today we are taking a look at the Nico, 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 the G nib. And we're going to use the Tachikawa holder I have here. And we are inking in a Strathmore 500 series plate for still visual art journal. And we are using FW acrylic in Payne's gray. pretty big fan. Let me actually zoom in for you guys. I am a pretty big fan of G nibs. And I believe this is, let's see, I've done, this might actually only be my second. I think I did a hunt one. I love the Tachikawa one, although I haven't had a chance to try their gold one out yet. And I still need to try to see a if Kuratake has one and to do the zebra one as well. And G nibs are fairly flexible dip pen nibs, typically used in shonen manga. They put down, they can put down a very fine line as you guys see here but they're also capable of really large expressive line weight so they're sort of a nice all-rounder and they also can hold a lot of ink now you can get caged g nibs and i have a review for a tachikawa cage g nib i believe here on this channel it might actually be another brand though i'd have to double check um, and I bought that from Paper and Ink Arts and the cage adds a whole, like a lot of ink capacity to the back, but it is sort of an aftermarket mod and it adds quite a bit to the price. The cage nibs on Paper and Ink Arts are about $5 each because somebody has to hand weld a little spring onto the back. They don't manufacture them in mass quantities. So, I mean, somebody took the time to do it right. And I've found the Japanese nibs last a really, really long time. So I personally think the investment is worth it. Now I can't, oh, I'm totally off camera. My apologies. I can't see any significant differences between this Nico, oh, finally ran out of ink. This Nico nib and the Tachikawa I have. Maybe if I did like a side-by-side -side comparison. But they handle, in my opinion, as someone who likes g -nips, pretty similarly. Another thing I like about it is it's a fairly quick inker. And that might just be because I'm more familiar with it. And I am railroading, but I'm also trying to push it to do more lines. Right, so Nico G, decent G nib, decent flex, um, maybe a little harder to find. Uh, you can get Nico nibs on Amazon, so not impossible to find, just a little harder to find. Um, if you get it in the set, then it is probably worth the price and worth digging up because the other nibs so far have been fun. 
but I wouldn't necessarily specifically seek out the Nico Jib, Jib, the, <laughs> the Nico G nib, just to use the Nico G nib when there are other G nibs that are great and a little bit easier to find from your typical nib resources like paper and ink arts or your local art supply store. Um, I would love to see Japanese nibs become a little bit more popular here in the US. I think they are really excellent, excellent nibs, not just for calligraphers and letterers, but for artists, of course. Um, and I'd love to help popularize them again because they used to be sort of the de facto for inking. Um, and they've sort of fallen out of favor because there's a bit of a learning curve and a lot of people, you know, you can do it digitally and you only have to, you don't have to like, you can redo things very easily digitally. Um, so it sort of has taken some of the thrill out of it, but I really encourage you guys to try learning it, just to try learning it, um, just to have a new skill, to do something different and to flex some muscles. But you know, I only say that if you are capable of doing so, there's no shame if there are reasons why you cannot. And I don't mean to give any sort of value judgment on you as an artist if you cannot. I just think they're fun to play with and I encourage you to give them a shot. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another nib review. Bye guys.